Today I'm going to do a um, beginner power yoga. I told you I'm not good with talking. Here I go again, getting tongue-tied and sounding horrible. Well, here we go again, so we'll just cut right into it. Um, got some crazy sounding music here in the background. I don't know if you can hear it, but I'm still trying to play with things to make the videos better, better. So just bear with me. So come to Sukhasana pose and just begin that Ujjayi breath. Breathing in deeply through the nose, expanding the belly on the inhale, and then exhale, pull the belly into the spine and lift the pelvic floor. And just keep that breath going. And try to keep that breath even and audible throughout this flow. On the next inhale, bring the arms up overhead. And exhale, side bend to the right. Inhale up. And side bend to the left. Inhale up. Twist to the right. Let me move my microphone just a little here. Go ahead and inhale up. And twist to the left. Come to center, extend the left arm to the left, and the right hand will come to the left side of the head and pull the right ear down towards the right shoulder. Go ahead and tilt the chin down towards that right shoulder. And then up towards the sky. And release that side of the head, extend the right arm to the right. Left arm will come up to the right side of the head and pull the left ear down to the left shoulder. Tilt the chin down towards the shoulder. And then up to the sky. Release that side of the head. Bring the hands up. Interlace the fingers. Take them to the back of the head. And just pull the chin to the chest. Just a slight tension here. Release the back of the head. Bring your hands to the front of the mat. Swing your legs around to the back. The hands will be underneath the shoulders and the knees underneath the hips. We'll take a few cat cows here. You can tuck the toes under for balance if you'd like. You're going to inhale and drop the belly, lift the head, tilt the tailbone up and open the chest. And hold it here, wiggle side to side, just make it feel good. And then exhale. Tuck everything under. Separate those shoulders, chin to chest. Tuck the tailbone. Flex the core. And then inhale back to cow. Come back to cat. And inhale to center. Bring the hands underneath the shoulders again. Inhale the right arm up, and then exhale th through the left arm and the left leg, coming onto the outside of the right shoulder, and thread the needle pose, twisting the torso, decompressing the spine. Inhale, push into that left arm and bring the right arm back up. Exhale, right hand down. Inhale that left arm up. And exhale, thread it through the right arm and the right leg, coming onto the outside of that left shoulder. Inhale that right arm back up. And exhale down. 
separate the knees about max distance, bring the feet together, push those hips back into your child's pose, reaching your arms forward, forehead to the mat. On the next inhale, push up and exhale, walk your hands to the right, keeping your hips connected to your heels, lower down, feeling the stretch all along that left side. Inhale, push up and walk back to center. Exhale, walk to the left. Keep those hips connected to the heels and exhale, lower down. Inhale, go ahead and push back up. And exhale, come back to center. Push your torso forward, coming onto the knees. Tuck those toes under. Sit the hips back, lifting the knees, pushing back into your down dog. Go ahead and walk the dog out here. So this video is for beginners and I will be giving you alignment cues for each pose the first time we take the pose. So here, when you come into your full down dog, you, your feet are hips distance. You're gonna push your heels down towards the mat. They probably won't touch the mat. You're gonna lift your quads up off your knee. You're gonna tilt your tailbone up. So this is tucked and this is tilted up. Tilt your tailbone up, pull your belly in, open your shoulders up wide, let your head hang heavy, and claw those fingers into the mat. From here, we're going to look to the front of the mat. Take a couple of steps to get up to the hands. If you need to, if not just one step, keep those feet hips distance. You're going to lift the torso, bend those knees, and bring that torso down on top of the thighs and just dangle here. Grab opposite elbow. You want a very bend those knees. Hang in your ragdoll pose. And you can sway side to side. And now you can work towards lift slightly and work towards bending and straightening one leg at a time, opening up. And inhale up to a flat back, halfway lift, head in line with the spine. And then exhale, bring the weight towards the toes so it's evenly in the feet. Flex the quads and fold into forward fold. You can grab the backs of the legs. From here, begin to tilt your head up towards the sky, bringing your arms out beside you. Reverse swan dive up to tall mountain, palms together. And exhale, right arm comes down beside the right hip. Tilt that left hip out and side bend to the right. Feel the stretch all along those, that rib cage down into the hip. Inhale right arm up exhale left arm down same thing kick that hip right hip over to the right feel that stretch inhale bar both arms up exhale left arm forward right arm back keep those hips square to the front inhale bring those hands to center and exhale, right arm front, left arm back. Inhale, back to center. 
and exhale, come to mountain pose. And mountain pose, you want your weight distributed evenly in your feet. Your quads are text flexed. I'm sorry, I'm so tongue tied this video. Your core is tight, shoulders back. We'll begin our flow. Inhale up to tall mountain. We'll go slow. Palms together. Reverse swan dive down. Forward fold. Grab so those legs. Pull the head in. Inhale up. Halfway lift. Exhale. Bend those knees. Plant the hands. You can step back. Come to the knees, chest, chin. Now push through up to cobra pose. Hold your cobra. From here, tuck the toes under, push down through the hands, set the hips back into your down dog pose. So that, my fellow yogis, warriors, is a vinyasa flow, a modified. Go ahead and look to the front of the mat. You can take a few steps to get back to the hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reverse swan dive up, tall mountain. And exhale mountain pose. We'll add on to that flow. Inhale, reverse swan dive up. Exhale, swan dive down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bend the knees, plant the hands, step back, drop the knees, chest, chin, Slide through, cobra pose. Tuck the toes under, push the hips back, down dog. And down dog, you're gonna look to those hands and you may need to take a couple of steps to the front, but you wanna try to get your right foot in between those hands. So you want a very wide stance here. Now, what I usually teach in my power class is I lift the right leg up, I pull the knee in tight to the chest, I push out of the shoulders, flexing the core, coming onto the tippy toes, and step forward. But that does take some practice. So, to begin, just bring that leg in and get it as close as to lift the hands and pop right forward. So my back foot, I have a 90 degree angle in the here, and my back foot, the ball of the foot is underneath the heel. You're going to uh, tippy toe to the fingertips <laughs> and just hold your runner's pose. Lift it up off the ground here. If this is too much for you, you can even drop that right knee. Plant those hands down, send the right foot back, knees, chest, chin, push through cobra, tuck those toes, down dog. And we'll go to the other side. Inhale, step that left leg up between the hands, lift onto the fingertips, runner's pose, or that knee. Low lunge. Plant those hands. Step that right leg back. Marty on my knees. Chest, chin. Push through. Cobra. 
tuck the toes. Down dog. From here, look to the front of the mat. Step up to the hands. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Inhale, reverse swan dive, top mountain. And exhale, mountain pose. Adding on. Inhale up. Exhale, reverse back fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bend the knees, plant the hands, step back, knees, chest, chin. Push through. Inhale, cobra. Tuck the toes. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, step that right foot between the hands. Now remember, you can come down to the knee or lift. Rise up to crescent. So you still want the 90 degree angle in the front leg, knee over ankle, the ball of the foot under the heel of the back leg. You can even come down to the back knee if that's too much. So I'm going to hold it. Drop that right hand down. And side bend slightly. Inhale, right arm up. Left arm down. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale, frame the you can come to the knee, step back, knees, chest, chin, cobra, tuck the toes, down dog, come to the other side, step that left foot up between the hands, you can either come down to the knee and lift, or lift the knee. Crescent. From here, drop the left arm down, side bend to the left, left arm up, side bend to the right, left arm up, bring the foot, step back, knees, chest, chin, cobra, Tuck the toes, down dog. Look to the front of the mat. Step to the hands. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Inhale, reverse one dive, tall mountain. And exhale, mountain pose. Inhale, reverse swan. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, plant the hands, bend the knees, step back. Knees, chest, chin. Cobra. Tuck the toes, down dog. Look to the hands. Get that right foot between the hands. Rise to your crescent. Now you hear you will have to be lifted. So I'm going to turn to my left. Keep bringing my arms to shoulders distance and drop my left heel down. Opening up into warrior two. So I still have the 90 degree angle in that front leg. Knee over ankle. The knee needs to be open to the right, so you can see that big toe. I'm putting my weight into the knife edge of that back foot. Pull the belly in, open the chest. Look over the right sh shoulder and breathe. Hmm. 
come here. Windmill those arms down. You can come down to the knee if you want. Step back. Come chest, chin, cobra. Tuck the toes, down dog. Look to the hands. Step that left foot to the front. Rise up, crescent pose. Now I'm going to turn to the right, opening the arms up, dropping the right heel down. 90 degree angle in that front leg. Open up the chest, pull the belly in. Arms, shoulders, distance. Look to the front, windmill those arms down, come down to the knee. So knees, chest, chin, cobra. Now hold that cobra. Inhale, exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Push down through the hands. Walk the knees. Sit back into your child's pose. Break here, calming the breath. Push down into your hands, rise up. Swing your legs around you in front. And we're going to come to boat pose and work the core. So you want your feet on the floor. Chest is open. Keep an apple between your chin and your hold and feet off the floor. Let's work that core holding your boat. Not challenging your back. Release the feet back. Wide. Bring together. And just flap those wings of your butterfly. here. Inhale up to a flat back and exhale. Hold, pushing the elbows down into the thighs, opening up those legs. Inhale, come up to seated, back out, bring the left foot to the inner thigh, turn the torso toward that right leg, inhale up for length, and exhale, hold. Inhale, push back up. 
and exhale, extend the left leg out and bring the right leg in. Turn the torso towards the leg. Inhale for a tall spine and exhale, walk those hands out and fold. Inhale, come back up to seated. Extend both legs out. Place the hands beside the hips. Down towards the feet and lay down onto the back. From here, bring your feet in. Make sure they're hips distance apart. See if you can touch those heels. From here, push into the heels and lift the hips. Coming into bridge pose. Release the hips down. Cross that right foot over the left knee. Flex the right toes back. Just pull that left knee in. Lift the arms underneath that thigh, around the hamstring. Make sure your hips are even here. You should feel a good stretch in the outer right hip. From here, release the leg, extend the arms out to the side, and just let the legs fall to the left and look to the right. Inhale, back to center. Drop that right foot down. Bring the left foot on top of the right knee. Pull the right knee in. Interlace the fingers behind the hamstring. Flex that left foot back. Try to keep that knee open. And feel the stretch in the outer left thigh. Drop that right foot down, extend the arms out to the side in a T, and let the legs fall to the left. Center. Pull them into the chest. And then exhale. And the legs out. Palms face the sky. Inhale. And exhale. Let the breath come to its normal rhythm. Let your body sink into the floor. Make this Shavasana your own. Clear your mind. 
Inhale, the happy. Exhale, the sad. Release the things that you no longer need. Inhale, the good. And exhale, the bad. encourage you to stay in your Shavasana as long as your day will allow. In the meantime, stay strong, warriors. Namaste.